My beginning with the House of Friendship was through my father, who involved me at the age of 10. He was the master chef at the Wapra Hotel. He was taking the leftover food from the dinner on Friday night, and he was saving all of the good things and taking them to the House of Friendship. I mentioned to him that I wanted to get involved with that because I thought that that was a great thing for us to do. The next Saturday, I uh, joined him in his venture. The thing that I think was the most important for me to learn and develop was through my father. My father had the gift of giving at our dinner table on Saturdays. After he said grace, he would go through this routine of saying, this family lifts people up. We don't put people down. So my first encounter with uh, House of Friendship was um, a long, long time ago. Um, when I was in my mid-20s, I went for a meal at the shelter. I struggled with addiction at the time. It was in the early stages of my addiction. House of Friendship was known in the community and I was a member of this community my whole life. So it was somewhere where I knew I could, could, could turn to if I, in times of trouble. I didn't get sober until 2010. Um, had many things happen in between that time, but I was still alive. I never forgot what they did for me and, and how they made me feel um, that they cared. You're very welcome. You have a great day. I ended up going to school for social work. And House of Friendship was uh, the first organization that uh, popped in my mind to work for. August 1st, 2014 was my first shift at the shelter. I was pretty, pretty, pretty darn happy to, <laughs> and uh, more than willing to work for the House of Friendship. An organization that always um, took me for the man um, that I could be and took me for the man that I was that day and um, didn't judge me uh, based on the fact of my past and the things that I've done. A few years ago, I found myself in the hospital after having suffered a brain bleed. This was very shocking to me because I was a healthy, active corporate manager. Uh, I was very busy and uh, this was quite a big deal. During the um, weeks and uh, months of my recovery, I realized that it was really important for me to change my life and it was important for me to, to feel like I, I fit in and uh, belonged in somewhere. And I ultimately quit my corporate job. Moving into this, this new world, I um, was led to House of Friendship. I was very welcomed. Uh, I really felt like I was part of something. In my old world, I sort of had corporate blinders on and I lived in a whole different space and I didn't look or didn't see, I didn't get to see what was happening in the community. I didn't get to see the people um, around me. A host of friendship offered me an opportunity to get to know these, the people, the recipients of the services, the people that work there, to get to know them and really get to hear stories and, um, and find out that, again, we're all the same. We just have different stories to tell and we've ended up at different places in our lives. It's really been um, a gift for me to uh, spend time with House of Friendship. My first encounter with the House of Friendship started in 1990. I was a newcomer to Canada. My daughter came home with a brand new coat. So I had to confirm where she got this coat. I did go down to the community center, which was through the House of Friendship at the time. I, I was just so amazed that I since became a volunteer, a contract worker with House of Friendship, and now a permanent staff member. I am working at the Emergency Food Hamper Program, which is on Guelph Street in Kitchener. I wanted to share this story that really touches me. I had a family come inside and I had given a little boy a treat to take home with them. Before he got into the car to leave, I realized, oh, he had other siblings. So I went back out to hand the parents additional treats for the siblings at home as well. Um, and I noticed a, a woman walking. Something didn't feel right, something didn't look right, and I could tell she was distressed. So I approached her, I asked if she was okay, she couldn't speak. And then I said, would you like a hug? 
I embraced her, I hugged her, and she cried so hard. I did not know she had planned to end her life. She was going through a nasty divorce, lost her children, had no hope to live, had no desire to go on. Um, so that interception that day, for me, <laughs> was still weighs on my heart. And her children drew me a picture and to say thank you for saving their mom, their daughter, their sister. And to this day, she's doing well. She's still receiving help. And I still keep in touch with her. This is what keeps me coming back every day to the House of Friendship. Um, it's more than serving food to the community. It's getting to know your community, listening to their needs, their desires, their hopes, their dreams, and then working together and making it a better place to live for everyone. But where I first came into contact with House of Friendship was when I was 16. I got together with some friends who were in the downtown area and I ended up living on the streets with them because that was better than being home. For us to get food, not a whole lot of options other than baking on the corner. So one of the options that we did have and was a big blessing was the um, food hamper program on Guelph Street. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how are you? When I came, it was just me. So we would walk down there every month religiously and we would get our food hampers. And we would take them back to, depending on the weather, wherever we were staying, whether it be an abandoned house or in the park. And the group of us would just make it last as long as we could. There was never any judgment. It really was a warm, welcoming um, experience that carried with me for many, many years. Thirty years later, my journey has kind of come full circle with House of Friendship. So instead of the receiving end of it, um, I'm actually in the point where I can give back. I can share their messages of hope and love and acceptance. A house of Friendship filled my tummy, but they felt so much more. Oh, you guys are fantastic. Oh, this I is um, so. a community helping a community. And I'd like to see that legacy continue for the next 80, 90, 100 years. One of the greatest gifts I have today. Share the gift. They've been doing it for 80 years, so that's not going to change. <laughs>